Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Tales of Asperia. Alright, let's see if we can take out the last of the Royal Guards here. Dang it, I wanted to stun them. Those who obstruct the work of the knights shall be treated as criminals. Why are you in an echoey room? <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Yuri, look, who are you sending down? I'm not going down to pick up pick up that scabbard. Look, do you make repeat do this or something? That's just mean. This is why this is why you attach the scabbard to your belt, you dolt. Ugh. Prepare to meet your doom. <laughs> wow, Stell just going nuts on these uh, on the knights. Good. Good. Keep still in those grimoire pages, please. There we go. Four for four. I got no time to think. Just beat him senseless and you'll win. Light magic. And and I still did not check the night sword. How does it look, Rita? Just like I thought. This formula is protected by a code as well. Think you can break it? I said I'd do it or die trying, didn't I? This has nothing to do with getting us to Miorzo anymore. Just up for the challenge, huh? There's no way in hell I'll let those idiot knights go on using these poor Blastia like this! Ha what, what, what are they doing that, that is harming them? Okay, I'll leave this to you guys! And where are you off to, Carol? I'm gonna keep watch down below, just in case more royal guards show up. Wouldn't it be better to keep watch up here? Well then, I'll come along and help out. I'm going too. It looks like Patty's cheered up. I hope so. And you know, the guy's enthusiasm actually kind of scares me. Why? Y you think that we're gonna go to our death soon? It's Yuri's influence. He's not exactly the most. To stay here for now. He's not exactly the most, uh, excitable person that we know. Yuri himself is as laid back as can be, though. True. Hours later. More hours later. Days later. Looks are you like ever gonna eat? a while before she can crack that code. Royal Guard, huh? I wonder what those guys were planning to do with the Blastia anyway. The knights have come back! Eh, uh, it'll be easy though. We've gotta hold our ground here. Hi guys! Watch my back. Ah, dang it, no more grimoire pages? Alright, fine. Well then. Wow, that uh, that fire ability is a uh, pretty good area of effect. I don't even know which ones I've stolen from anymore. <laughs> Dang it! Alright, so that's the one that does three. That was dumb. <laughs> that was such a waste of my overdrive. Over li limit. 
two more Night Swords, and I still keep forgetting to look at them. Learn Skill Revenge Arrow. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if you, uh, if you're gonna save him that way. We have to destroy him! You worry about the knights! They're, they're not a threat! Rita, but why? We're out of time! So again, why not take the core? You can't possibly... Rita... Can't possibly what? Fight them all off? I think we can. Do you have no faith in me? In us? Succeed or die trying, wasn't it? We won't give in. Rita, do what you can and save that Blastia. I. We're gonna do our best. We're going to fight them all off. So hang in there. See, it would be a, a little bit more impactful if the enemies we were fighting were actually a threat. You guys. I will. I'll fix this thing if it's the last thing I do! And just so you know, I'm expecting the same from you guys! Yeah, we can't fix that thing. <sighs> oh, hell. Guess I'll give it all I got, too. Will you join the Shining Youth Brigade or something? Looks that way. He's 35. That's not old. So can we just go all out? Yes, we can. I want more Grimoire pages than rather than Iron Tips, however. Also, you know what? Okay, this is bad. Um... Good. gotten one unfortunately get your butt back here we can't let anyone through another night sword yeah i feel good hit plus i would i would like to actually uh you know like check the stuff that i'm getting Stop. change some equipment rita way to go rita well, i'll be she came through. Just in time Why for the music to stop. Back? How do they know that she succeeded? Why? Because the Blastia stopped? I wonder what they were trying to do. Well, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Now we've kept our promise to Tord. Judith, you take it from here. Mm, interesting that he said Judith in the uh, voice acting, but uh, Judy in the text. Okay. Now, this isn't... That's like a tambourine, not a bell. Holy cow. Uh, whoa! What is that thing? The door has opened. That is Miorzo, homeland of the Christian people. I mean, you haven't been there before, right? So how do you know? It's Other definitely than, impressive. You know, inference. It's as unexpected as a dandelion blooming on the bottom of the sea. I think if you saw a dandelion blooming on the bottom of the sea, you, you need to check to see if you're still asleep. Looks like they won't keep it open for us very long. We should hurry. Foul! We might want to figure out what the knights were doing here, though. A flying city. Who'd have guessed? Forget the city. What about that huge thing? It looks like a living creature. 
Well, I mean, it's a JRPG. There has to be a flying fortress or city or tower or something like that. It's a floating jellyfish. <laughs> I was kind of thinking that too. It's an Antilochea, though not one I've spoken to. An Antilochea? How did something like that swallow an entire city? Uh, they may have built it inside the... the... That I don't know. I had absolutely no idea a city like this existed. Curse them for having invisibility on it. That's because Miorzo cut off contact with the outside world ages ago. Well, that's kind of rude. It's not going to attack us or anything if we get closer, right? Don't worry. As long as Baul is with us, we should be allowed to enter. So why couldn't Baul find it already? Well, um, um, get, no, no, it's not climb down. That's not what I wanted. So, how, how do I, how do I get in? Enter, there we go. Just have to get it just right. The home of the Critia, Miorzo. Hey, look! They're all Critians. Who would have guessed that a city of Critians would have Critians in it? Uh, are they welcoming us? Nah, they're about to murder us all. So the guys have red eyes, the ladies have green eyes. They do have different hair colors, though. Now this is a surprise. These visitors really are from the outside. Now we're not. We're just a figment of your imagination. Well, well. So it was you who called on Miorzo. And what is this? How strange. What curious ornaments you wear. Hey, it's not polite to stare, you know. <laughs> this is better with the uh, strange costumes that we're wearing. How are such children as yourselves able to come here? She's talking about you, Patty. You too, Rita. I mean, you are, like, 15, Rita, so... Is this monster an Entelikea, perhaps? It's Baul. Have you forgotten him? Oh, you're the one who descended to the Earth some years ago, right? So she has been here. So why did you need to go talk to someone to find the way back? I believe Judith. Yes, Judith was your name. There was something you had to attend to, and... Are you about finished? We would like to meet with the Elder. Ah, uh, cutting off the conversation before we learn more. Please feel free to do as you wish. He may be out for a walk again, though. I don't know if any of them actually have Judith's hair color. None that we've quite, quite, uh, quite seen do. Okay, so they're a bit weird. I don't know, they seem not so weird to me. That's actually called rude. You're one to talk, Rita. All Christians are pretty much like that. Like what? Oh, easygoing, unafraid. We are dreamers and optimists, for better or worse. But Christians who live on the surface are like that too. Living together with humans, the Critians on the surface have lost some of their naivete. So is the Elder like that too? How should I put it? He's the perfect Elder for weird people. So he's me. Sounds like quite a unique individual. I'm trying to be nice here. She hasn't exactly given you much to go on, Raven. This should be interesting. Meeting the Critia. The Critians are different than I imagined. Oh man, I totally agree. What's so different? You know, more like... I thought they'd be more like you, Judith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm seeing far less skin than I expected. <laughs> I mean, oh god. On. So Fireball. that's what the two of you were looking forward to? How juvenile. What are you looking at me for? I was talking about her personality. Seriously, let's have some decency here. Is it me, or are you a little disappointed too, Yuri? I'd like to ask the same thing, Yuri. It's you. 
man. I can't I can't cross over these these ropes, no. Those those ropes are an impenetrable barrier to me. Are these Blastia? It looks like a pile of junk. It's uh it's a lot of wreckage. Got a barrier. Cozy barrier that can block out wind and rain. Fully restores hit points and TP in luxury and peace. Are these like escape pods? Well, this is another city, so uh, we should be able to do some purchasing and stuff. There's a huge Blastia here. It looks like it hasn't been used for a while. And it still looks like it works. Welcome to Miorzo. You can't even kill time coming to a place like this. What? You must be so bored to come to a city like this. Why are her tentacles green? I never would have imagined there'd be a city in a place like this. What are we? Where are we, Orgus? There's so many types of Blastia I've never seen before. Looks like the Critians really were the ones who created Blastia in the first place. Yes, seeing all this Blastia makes it very easy to believe that. It sure would be nice if we happened upon a way to do something about your power, Mrs. Stell. Really, that would be nice, but... It's not working. It doesn't have a core. It's just the body. This city has stopped using Blastia. What you see here is what everyone threw out long ago. They just, like, pile it up in the plazas? Why would they do that? Because that was the path we chose. It's been a long time, Elder. So you were the cause of all this commotion outside. You've returned to us. These children are humans who are traveling with me. Children, huh? <laughs> you, are you including Yuri and Raven in that? I guess Estelle could go either way, really. Hmm. This is Blastia, is it not? Yes, it's my Bodhi Blastia that I use. Hmm, I thought that Earth Dwellers had stopped using Blastia, like us. How old are you? Do you not use the Blastia here because it uses a special formula too? There are no normal or special types of Blastia. Blastia is made by crushing Apatheia and processing those pieces with technology to produce cores and through the absorption of air. Hold it. Cores are made from crushed apatheia? Yeah, we were kind of gathering that. Indeed, that is what the stories say. It appears apatheia was too powerful in its original form. Even without that power, it is a stone more valuable than any precious gem. This is why its power was restrained, by breaking it into pieces and carving formulas into it. And thus, its numbers were also increased. Our legends tell us that cores were always produced in this way. Y you just have legends? Seems like we, we might want a little bit more information than just legends. A bit ironic, huh? Yeah. The apatheia that comes from Entelikea, who hate Blastia. Yeah, you know, I mean, why why might they hate Blastia that are made from their corpses? It's necessary to make the very Blastia that they hate. Maybe Pharaoh didn't tell us about Apatheia because he felt uncomfortable talking about it, you think? Elder, there are many things I'd like to ask you about. We're trying to find out what sort of role Blastia played in ancient times. And if Blastia ever brought disasters to this world, we'd like to know how they might have been stopped. Yorzo must still have some folklore, right? Perhaps you could tell us what you know. Hmm. Very well. Also, a little thing about uh, Child of the Full Moon sort of thing. My home would be a better place to speak of such things. Please go inside and wait for me there. Okay, but we're going to hit up the shops hey first. Where are you going? 
I was in the middle of my daily walk. I'll return to my house before too long. <sighs> Apatheia, Blastia, air disturbances, Entelakea. It looks like everything's connected. Yeah, all of the weird words. We might even see more connections once he's told us the Critian folklore. The Elder's House is the large building with a differently colored roof than all the others. They all seem to have different colored roofs. Gotcha. Patty, we're leaving. Oh yeah, I'm coming too. Judith's youth. You used to live in your zone, Judy? Yeah, when I was a kid. What sort of kid were you? A little shy and overindulged, maybe? A little shy? That's hard to picture. <laughs> it is beyond imagining, isn't it? Everyone told me I was a strange child. Yes, I can see that. A child being called strange by strange people. Would that make her normal? She must have been Judy-like since she was little. I'd like to ask you all exactly what that means to each of you. <laughs> Hello! Mm, oh, you're the people that came from outside. Uh, how boring. You're so... normal. Uh, I can't believe you people still use Blastia. I'm pretty sure there were still Critia living on the ground when this city was created. Now I remember, they built a city on some place called Mount Temza. Yeah, that's kind of been destroyed. What, the town on Temza was destroyed? Oh my. Initially, we Critia just made a town in a remote location away from other people. Then Cronus swallowed the town. It's missing a W there. Now we have quite the symbiotic relationship. Cronus is the Entelakea that carries the city. Yours a warehouse. Uh, we don't want to do that yet. That's going to be another warehouse puzzle. I will save that for, like, a future episode. Seriously? How the hell did you get here? Guess you found me. You're pretty good. I'll teach you to cook as a reward. Learned the recipe for cream stew. I'll give you this so you can practice. Obtain three sets of ingredients for the recipe. Gotta go till we meet again. How the hell did he get here? <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, cream stew. Uh, restores a large amount of hit points. That's good. Requires milk, potatoes, carrots, onions, ch and chicken. Right. Hello? Hey, is it true you humans you actually use Blastia? My grandpa said his grandpa told him Blastia were no good. This child is guarding the way uh, further in there. Oh, hello, you have a book. Chris the Maven. Hello, I'm here to tell you about synthesizing. Ah, today's suggested synthesis. Runeblade plus one, Everblue plus one alpha, Serpent Staff, Crimson Phoenix plus two alpha, Visor, lovely necklace, Shark's Tail, Monocle, Dogtail, Misericord, and Quit. Come check back again. General Shop Deneb. This stuff has been here in the city for ages. Would you like to have it? I'll trade you gold coins for it. How how does how how do you have any use for gold up here? All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and replenish some stocks. Shadow Fang, Super Chain 5, let's buy that. Mithril Sword. Let's see, sword responsible for massive bloodshed. Choose to live in the dark or give up this weapon. And <laughs> Flynn can use it. Actually, I suppose I didn't really need... Well, no, actually I did, because this is usable by uh, Estelle, not, not them. Uh, extra Combo 1 or I? 
and high heel. Uh, an ancient sword forged out of lost metal. The firm blade is like a well-polished mirror. Gaia Cleaver, Cle Queen's Whip. Dark Crystal! Hey, the Dark Crystal! Lance, a long lance owned by a knight of black armor. Best matches when used by a dash attack. Let's go with that. Uh, Flay Mars. Swing once and it flames. Swing twice and it flares. Swing three times and it's an inferno. That has Hellfire on it. Let me get that. Uh, Hunting Beret. So you're giving us a hat like that and we can't actually see it on repeat. Thanks, game. Mithril circuit, Circlet, get two more of those. Mithril Helm, get two more of those. Armor, Mithril Plate. We still got a lot of money now. Two of those. Mithril Guard. Two of those. Mithril Cloak. One of those. Mithril Protector. One of those. Wind Cape, Earth Cape. Get another set of mithril... Nah, I won't get myth another set of mithril boots. And uh, the food. Get some chicken, get a lot of pork. Get some onions. Get some radishes. Why are those orange? Shiitake mushrooms. Potatoes. Napa cabbage. Rice. Red, sticky flour, eggs. There we go. All right, synthesis. Actually, before we do that, let's uh, let's see what we have in spades. So, thirty-three air stones. Also, we have a crap ton of some geostones. It's kind of a shame that they're all only worth 100. You would think that the gold dust, at least, would be worth more. You can sell philophilia leaves. It's one reason why I was stealing so many. Sell some soft tails. Yeah, there we go. Alright, synthesis. First of all, uh, I still cannot get the dog tail. I need another rabbit fur. That's it. I cannot get the eye patch. I need pitch black ink. Uh, Valkyrie, I need Wekia ore and Nava metal. That's it. That's very expensive to uh, produce in terms of uh, resources. I've not found anything that gives roses. I don't know about the mystic orbs. Uh, I can get the lovely necklace. Not as obvious in its beauty, but lovely just the same. It might even be lucky. We have plenty of material for that. Cannot get the cat hat. And that's all. Alright. Okay, let's see. Oh, you know what? Before we do this... Actually, I might do that off-screen. Uh, the Night Sword. Okay, no, we've, we've had a lot of these. Well, we've had these before, so... we could probably sell some. They're not worth that much. All right, well, I think I'll actually do the synthesis off-camera. I apparently can't go up there. I'd like to find a save point, because it's about that time. Hey, perfect. All right, so when we come back next time... We will continue to explore uh, the Critian city of Miorzo. And I don't know if I'll do the warehouse next episode. It might be the episode after that. Um, 
don't know, we'll see. But uh, we'll try to get uh, the story of, you know, what, what's going on uh, in the next one. And uh, continue exploring the city. See you then, everyone.